Hello everyone, my name is Joseph Laxon and I'm currently running for the president position. Wish me luck. And I wanted to tell you two things today. I learned two things while putting out PSN. One, I discovered that Maddie Pacquiao is my hero and that I aspired to be like him one day, taking punches left and right while making an impact in the Philippines. And number two, I love this club. Prior to PACN, people suggested I run for president, and quite honestly, I didn't want to at the time. Why? Because I was so focused on every detail of PACN, I felt stressed. I felt stressed and insecure about uh, stress and insecure every damn day, spending hours each day either on a skit, being insanely insecure about the skit, thinking about dances, or stressing about things that may come, that may come up. I didn't study enough, which is completely my fault, and I didn't want to be president because I've been on board for a while. But then, PACN happened, and this changed absolutely everything. I'm going to try to, try to describe why. My vision and objective for PACN was to define Utang Nalo'ob for members and the audience, Filipino or not, to define their own Utang Nalo'ob, to empower them and to tell them why it's a huge part of who we are as Filipino people. So they can decide how, whether or not they want to pay it back and what they want to do with it. My friend Trey, who is white and affluent, came to the show to support me. What he, what he told me struck me because our vision reached him. He saw our vision. Someone who is not a part of our culture directly. This is what he said. I can honestly say that my appreciation for my friends, family, and life was now legitimately, has legitimately been rejuvenated by your story you were, you were able to tell on stage. And for that, I thank you. I know that I am personally indebted, indebted to you as a friend, not necessarily for things like monetary sacrifices, but for your kindness and positivity. And I thank you for that as well. 350 people came to watch our show. That is something I am so proud about. But the most important part was the 50 performers and volunteers that were in the show. The people of Troy, Philippines. What is most important to me is to serve the general members the same way I served members during PCN. People laughed and cried during the short film created by Rachel. Another friend of mine came up to me and said, the video was my favorite part of the whole show. I don't understand, how did you get people to be so raw and authentic in front of the camera? Parents and families were crying next to me and I told him, Rachel sat down with them in a room and asked questions. I asked members if they wanted to be in the short film, all voluntary, all voluntary saying that all you have to do is be yourself. That's what I love about this club. Whether you're Filipino, Mexican, Chinese, I will make sure that you can be unapologetically yourself because that is what we are all about. Whether it's Nick Sounds, Joel's beautiful voice, Diana's infectious smile, Kevin's consistent humor, or Zach's bruised face, <laughs> I love you all. I'm not saying this to be like, ooh, look at me and look what I've done. No, my philosophy is I want you to be the best Cajun you can be, the best Marcos you can be, the best Christina you can be, the best Abigail. Yeah, you raise your hand. That's <laughs> Board and the people of Troy, Philippines are responsible for the safe space we've established. During PSCN, my main objective is to hear the stories of our members, to help them feel appreciated. I believe everyone has a story to tell, a story to tell, and I believe everyone has a seat at the table. I want to contribute my people skills and my ability to listen as president for the future for the, for the future of the club so that members can always feel at home. To put the club and members above all else. Why? Because that's what I've always done. I've been in Troy for, I've been on eboard for four semesters. I've been at USC for five semesters. I've been serving the people of Troy Philippines for four-fifths of my college career, and now, after PACN, I want to continue serving. It was, on, it was an honor to serve you as PACN director, but now I want to serve you in a different way as president. Thank you very much for listening.